Hi, welcome to Adventure Airsoft. Uh, apologies for the location, uh, as we're in a uh, we're in the back corner of my garage uh, that's going through a bit of a rework. So this is um, this is the best I can do at the minute. Um, the reason for this video is because I've had a lot of questions, a lot of queries, and a lot of people asking for the STL for the version one uh, of the impact grenade. So if you've not seen it, look at the link uh, above now, and you'll see the version one video. Um, of the impact grenade, airsoft impact grenade. Now, to go back onto the version one then, if you do want the STL for it, which is free, if you go onto the video in the description, you'll see that it's a link to Google Drive there where you can download the STL for, let me just do that, the long body, which is a, about an 80 gram, 80, 80, 80 gram uh, PLA print body. You can print it whenever you like, but I've used PLA. Uh, or you can use the short body, which is that one there, uh, and then the cap. So you can either print, you know, the, the files are for each, uh, each of those three items there. The other thing you need to do is create this retention device. Now the retention device here I've created, um, basically for each body, you've basically got between about a five inch uh, and a six inch give or take a bit of elastic. So you can use what this is called string elastic uh, because it's uh, sort of circular. Uh, or you can use just normal elastic, and the idea is that the uh, the cap is retained via the uh, via the elastic. Now, how that works there is uh, the the flash bang. If you've not seen them before, this is a snap banger or a flash bang or a snap cracker or a thunder snap. A loads of different names out for them. These ones are called snap bangers, but they all come from I assume the same place in China or a very similar place. They're very similar design. As you can see, they are a paper wadded um, cracker firecracker they don't rattle or anything but they they're initiated on an impact uh, and basically they explode from the center outwards and not from the poles outwards so that's quite handy if you're making um if you're making impact grenades so the same as all these grenades you you load them in a very similar way so you load them into the uh, grenade itself and then you either put a cop uh, a top on or you put a screw cap on uh, when they explode, you can see there. I've, done, I've carried on the same the same sort of design through all my um, all my grenades here. Is that the you'll get you might get a flash or something coming out of the sides, which is quite nice. Um, adds a, sort of sets the scene a little bit. And what you want to see is a bit of emotion. Uh, you then place the uh, elastic on, which is you know quite easy to place, and uh, that just goes off. Then you know goes bang, nice one. Uh, to replace it, then all you do is basically open the top of the grenade, bang out the rubbish that's in there that's left, put the oil in and go again. The other good thing about the elasticated grenades, although a lot of people prefer the screw caps, which we'll come on to in a second, is that the elasticated grenades have got this little tab on the bottom. Now, when I, when I put the elasticated grenades together, uh, or the elastic together, I basically got the right length, lot wide it together, and then use a bit of heat shrink to create this little, this little sort of tab you can lift. So these ones you can fit four of these in an ammunition, uh, sorry, in a grenade pouch. So you can you can stack them up four in there and use obviously four depending how big your your mission or your your game is. Uh, the next thing is that these ones are quite obviously quite big. You can fit two in there, but they're quite handy with this to lift out and sort of throw. Um, so that is a positive. Uh, obviously, the negative is the fact that you've got another bit that you have to sort of put together. But it's a, you know, it's whatever ones. Uh, I still prefer sometimes these. Uh, that's why I carry them, uh, carry them around. So I still, this is a prototype one. As you can see, it's just in a, in a clear, uh, clear PLA. But I still like them. Um, I still use them. So that's the version one, but you can obviously find the link. Version two is what this video is about. So I've basically created uh, a couple of different versions of that, uh, keeping the same cylindrical style. And the idea between that is one, it's uh, easy to print. So it's reliable in printing, you know, it prints, you know, one solid structure and another structure, you know, straight off the print bed. You can use it, modify it. It's quite easy to use. Um, and as I said, reliable. So this one has got a, the advantage of a th uh, threaded top. So this is slightly bigger than the, than the 40 mil one, just because I wanted to make a, uh, a slightly bigger top. But yeah, screw it on. It's got a knurl top there which is quite nice. Again, the same holes in the similar places, so you can see a bit of flash, a bit of emotion coming out there, and a bit of Adventure Airsoft branding. But the one I've uh, gone firm with is back to 40mm, mainly because of 40mm pouches and things. So that is 
about 80 grams as well. You can see this one's heavily used. I've used this in quite a few games. It just, just wipes off. There's no, there's no real issues with that. Again, screw top, place the round in. Quite reliable. Screw it up, throw it, done. Uh, created a, a number of different knurlings here. So you've got quite heavily knurled to you know quite fine knurled, different colored tops for different uh, uh, different people to put orders in and stuff. So this one isn't free. Um, but if you get in touch, we'll, uh, we'll come up to some sort of deal or something. But essentially how they work. Uh, today, people have asked for a comparison uh, compared to a normal uh, available 209 grenade. So uh, I've got that here. So the first thing we're going to jump into is using a Dynatex with, with a, as you can see there, a Fiocchi 616 209 primer uh, as a comparison for noise and uh, use. So first of all, we'll move up a little bit and give you that one. So there's your 209. Now we're going to use the impact. Clearly that's not an impact, that's timed, but you get the idea with the sound and stuff. So again, as I said, I've loaded it. Uh, you can see that the, the, the holes there are the center of the, the snap, uh, thunder snap itself, which is great. The next thing is the fact that uh, I've never had these go off in my pocket, even though they've been hit by rounds and stuff. So you don't have to worry about them going off and it's only a thunder snap, so it's not going to harm you in any way. But you basically load it, pull it out, and there you go, that's that gone off. So all you do then is you go and collect it back up, hopefully in a bright colour. You then, you're then left with that. So it's only a bit of paper wadding left and bits and pieces. You just shake those bits out, discard the paper wadding, go back, reload, and you're away to go again. And that's it. So that's the version two. You can, there's a lot of people out there that are doing different designs, all fandangled, you know, uh, almost like a pipe bomb sort of design. For me personally, to uh, for storage of them in pouches, this sort of cylindrical design seems to be the best way of going. Uh, and also longevity, longevity, bits with like fandangled edges and um, sharp edges and bits and pieces that are hanging off them tend to sort of break off a little bit sooner, depending on what you're printing with. But the cheapest, obviously, method of printing is PLA. Um, and as you can see, this is, although this is PLA, it's had, you know, a fairly hard life. This is one of the first ones I did in the new style, uh, and it's lived up to everything that's been thrown at it. So it's cheap, affordable, lasts, and uh, looks all right. So yeah, any questions, please fire them, fire them below. Uh, any any likes please if you like if you like the video like the content here put your thumbs up uh, if you don't like it put a thumbs down but please put a comment on why you put a thumbs down you know it's really nice to uh, get some uh, get some negative feedback as well so we can improve things so hopefully this has been a little, little bit more informative uh, and that is the the new version two and last thing is please subscribe to the channel if you if you don't subscribe and you can't see future content we've got loads more stuff coming up especially stuff on the AAP zero one that I've done. Um, that's on there, should be on there very, very soon. So thanks for watching. Cheers, take care.